I'm back with a couple of friends of mine, Dr. Laura Berman and Candy Burris, and uh, we're helping couples with varying freak numbers find common ground. Uh, let's talk to Janita and Ali. Janita, what's going on? What's going on with Ali? Ali and I have been married for 18 years. Uh, we have three children, two still live at home, and Ali's sex level is out the door. It's all the time. I could be in the kitchen cooking, he's grabbing. Hey. We could be in the car, going to church, anywhere, he's grabbing. It's so bad, too. I even said, okay, you know what? On the days that we're not having sex, you can look at porn. So I thought that would be okay. But now it's to a point where he has it all in his phone and it's stuff that I wouldn't even think to look at. I'm like, really? <laughs> so my question to you today is how to bring me up just a little bit to be more spontaneous and a little freaky, but bring him down some. <laughs> <laughs> my man, uh, let me hear something. Um, um, you know, oh, no. You know, I had to have that man-to-man -man moment, then get back in the talk show. <laughs> uh, do, do you understand where Janita's coming from? Yes, I do. And uh, regarding the porn, porn was just a substitution for sex, you know? Plus, we're getting into the porn, I learned new techniques, new styles, different ways to do it, other ways to bring it to climax, you know? Because uh, sometimes you can uh, have, I can have a reach a climax without even just having intercourse. And, uh... <laughs> People taking their freak numbers in the audience just fan. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Lord Jesus, what is he saying up there? And as far as me being an octopus, Steve, I mean, I just love the way she feels. You know, it's been 18 years. I, I still get the chills down my back when I touch her. Uh, she just recently lost weight. I mean, she gained weight. You know, 18 years, you gain your weight, you know? And uh, she just recently lost weight, and she got that track body again. You know, I'm talking about that. <laughs> Man. Yeah. Anyway, well, you know, I try to be patient and understanding with her. But deep down inside, Steve, I think she got some freak in her. I think she just got to bring it out. I think she's, <laughs> she's kind of balling it in, you know. She's holding it yeah, back. You know, yeah. Over the years. I know. mean, Ali, how she don't want all this you got? Come on, come on, Steve. You, know. <laughs> you in here watching porn, bringing new techniques to the bedroom. Yeah. You got people going off without even touching. You just blowing on her. Come on. <laughs> Steve. Yeah, you bad man, Ali. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, all right, guys, show us your freak number eight. Jesus. <laughs> okay. It's a major gap. That's a big <laughs> difference. Dr. Berman, yeah. start with you. What can they do? Oh, that's a big difference. And, it, you know, it may be, I'd be curious, you know, and we're not going to answer it in, these, in this short amount of time, but I'd be curious what is holding you back. Because one thing that I do find, and I love how into, into her you are, Ali, and I love how you're up in your skill sets and everything, but you may be thinking a little bit too, too much like a man when it comes to her and thinking the way to her heart is between her legs mm. when the way to her heart is in here and here. Mm. And so mm. if your agenda is to like really get her more heated up and more interested, that sometimes laying off a little bit allows her to kind of relax into it more. If she feels like every time she lets go, you're gonna want more, 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 and she can't keep up, is that true? That's that we, it, yeah. I mean, she can't keep two, up with the demands. We just then... finished with one, can we enjoy one? <laughs> <laughs> right, so if there's gonna be another round and another round and another round, it's awesome that you're that into her, but it may be a little bit too overwhelming, and what you really want is for her to be into it and be feeling that longing for you. I think that's what you want too, right? I mean, I understand it. I do. Now, it can be a time where I can like, okay, I'm gonna chill out, you know. I say, baby, I ain't gonna touch you till you touch me. Well, that's 48 hours. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean, they find on first 48, they find the crime, the criminal before then. You know, I'm like, 48 hours, really? He say they solving crime, finding <laughs> criminal. Yeah. That's 48 hours. That's a TV show. Yeah. Oh, my you God. can solve a murder in 48 hours. What the hell are we doing? <laughs> yes. 
Candy, what's your advice? <laughs> well, personally, I feel like, I think it's wonderful that after 18 years yeah. of being together, that he yeah. still wants you every day. Yeah. Like, it's so many relationships that kind of like, you know, they don't even look at each other it, after being together that long. So for him to just desire you, want yeah. you, I think that's a great thing. And I don't think you should discourage it. The one thing that I really, a lot of women, you know, have a problem with the porn thing, but I don't. If you guys watch together, then it will be real fun. Yeah. But that's <laughs> some of the stuff he watch, I'm like, it's no storyline, it's just like. It ain't no storyline. Right. No, it's oh, you <laughs> like the ones that's like a movie. It's a plot. She <laughs> wants a plot. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. She hold 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 wants a plot. Yeah, she wants a plot. Porno <laughs> movies ain't really good at storylines. <laughs> We don't give a damn about where you eating breakfast. Just yeah. let's rake these plates off this table, get this movie started. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. L yes, listen, sir. this is what I think. You all should, like, do a little bit more planning instead of whenever you want to. Yeah. Because what Dr. Berman is saying is absolutely correct. Women, they want to be made love to. Yes. And that starts all in the mind. Now, I think, man, you need to pull up a little bit because you're going at it every day. She can't relax. She can't even, she can't do nothing because <laughs> here you come. And that's how I feel. And Ali, oh, you just, so she's cool. scared to go in the bedroom. <laughs> she's scared to go to the bathroom. She can't cook. <laughs> she can't turn her back and wash no dishes. She in there doing the dishes just going. <laughs> <laughs> just oh, trying to do the dishes. <laughs> Yeah. She in the kitchen. The pie is burning up because she's scared to go open the door. Because oh, here come Ali. Can't do yeah. it. Can't do it. She can't do nothing. You got to pull up, Ali, man. You got to get this woman some type of reprieve and break. Well, you know, Jesus. But I'm fit to Jesus. Well, <laughs> Wait a minute, hold up, man. Hold up. Well, you finna bring Jesus into this? <laughs> well, you, you, you rest on Sundays. You know, I mean. Work six days. Jesus rested on Sunday. You ain't Jesus. I'm just saying, Steve. Rest on Sunday, Steve. Ali. Help me. Let's give her that break. I know good and well, you just didn't use Jesus as an example. Now, see, is every time, let me ask you a question. Is every time you come to the house, is it always good for her? Well, nope. No. <laughs> I guess not, Steve. <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> no. <laughs> I want to say thanks to uh, both of these brave couples and a special thanks to my friend Candy Burris. Candy is sending you home with items from her bedroom candy collection. <laughs> <laughs>